genetics. What can it mean? The ability to perfect the physical and mental characteristics of every unborn child. The genetic screening of children is on the rise in politics today. New genetic tests can accurately confirm the health of babies earlier in the prenatal development of a fetus. However, bad news from these early genetic screens may encourage pregnancy termination. And these birth abnormalities being revealed at a much earlier stages due to fast advancing testing technology are giving expecting parents, new couples, and politicians a lot to think about. The early diagnoses of serious genetic abnormalities such as Down syndrome may seem as a gift to some parents since the knowledge far ahead of time allows them to adequately prepare for a child with special needs. On the other hand, troublesome information early on can bring parents to choose abortion due to devastating test results. The U.S. Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008, also referred to as GINA, is a federal law that protects Americans from being treated unfairly because of differences in their DNA that may affect their health. The new law prevents discrimination from health insurers and employers, and this danger would definitely be on the mind of parents who decide to test their children if it weren't for U.S. public policy. Let's go now to Dr. Nayar, a doctor of internal medicine at Memorial Hermann Knee Hospital in Houston, Texas, and Dr. Arturo de Lausanne, a professor in cellular biology at the University of Texas at Austin. When I talk about genetic testing, what we're talking about uh, mostly is uh, testing for patients who uh, would be at risk of developing certain diseases, for example, diabetes, cancer, things like that. Uh, My view would be that uh, that it should be allowed in certain circumstances. So, um, particularly with genetic diseases. That, uh, you know, we could uh, probably uh, prevent or at least treat earlier these uh, these diseases so that we could, in the long run, um, not only you know prolong life or even cure these patients, but also to help uh, you know save uh, money not only for the people but for you know society in general. Um, that decision should be left to the parents because uh, doing otherwise is imposing uh, our own ethical perspectives on other people's uh, philosophies. What about a parent that wants a kid with blue eyes and not brown eyes? Shouldn't they be allowed? So where's the limitations? Right? So. After hearing these professional opinions, let's see what some UT students had to say regarding the ethical dilemmas prevalent in prenatal genetic screens, such as knowledge versus privacy, short-term versus long-term effects of test results, and freedom versus safety. I think the parents are faced with a really big challenge, like should they keep the pregnancy or not, and then the end I think it should be their decision and so that the government's not doing it for them. I'm pretty sure that the test is offered to every woman, but not everyone decides to be tested, and even if they were tested and something bad came out as a result, not every woman's going to choose to be terminated, to terminate the child. And so I feel like the government shouldn't withheld this option for the woman to know what's going on with their child. Yeah, I think the question that will eventually have to be asked, probably by politicians, uh, is where do we as a society like, draw the line? You know, is it a testing for homosexuality, being too short, being too fat, having autism? I don't really know. I don't think it's ethically right of us as a society to be diving into the genes of our children looking for traits that we don't like. If these tests are going to make people choose abortion for selfish reasons, and the government should definitely ban these prenatal genetic tests. A random survey of 100 UT students was taken. As you can see from the first two figures, there is roughly an even spread of both males and females of mixed political ideologies. Across this sample, we found that 81% of students supported prenatal genetic testing, while 19% did not. This result is consistent with the observed student responses we have seen today. Most students interviewed did not take issue with the testing itself, but the idea of strict government regulation of prenatal genetic screening. Is this the beginning of simply a healthy world free of major genetic defects? Or are we steering dangerously towards the idea of designer babies and eugenics? Unfortunately, we don't know the answer to that question. 
But today, the public policy makers in office wrestle with decisions that may change our reproductive future forever.